What's up YouTube, I'm G Infinite. Today, I'll be doing the newest wave out, which is the Wendigo Build-A-Figure Wave. Comes with a bunch of cool characters such as Sinister, Nightcrawler, Boom Boom from the X-Force, Cannonball, and many others. So today's episode is on the newest wave, the Wendigo Build-A-Figure. All right guys, so the first figure that I'm gonna get into, very excited about this figure, is Guardian. Uh, Guardian, from for those of you that don't know, is part of Alpha Flight. And of course, there you see uh, the Sasquatch BAF figure um, and been waiting for this Guardian, even though there is another Guardian. And there you see that my other Guardian that was done uh, by Hasbro earlier. But um, getting directly into this Guardian, uh, just really, really cool. This is from the Wendigo Builder figure and um, getting directly into the head sculpt. Just really, really awesome. Like what they did. Uh, in the color pattern, what they did here, they gave them that all white kind of head sculpt. And then there, if you look very closely, a very serious Guardian. Uh, like, of course, the uniform, traditional Guardian there. Uh, the white and the red. There you see the red from the arms going directly into the chest piece. And just look pretty epic. Uh, they kept, of course, the gloves there uh, on the hands. They all white, and then on the legs there, you see that two tone. You see going in from that half red and white all the way down to the leg, which is really really cool. And then this leg over here, solid white, and it's just a good look to this guardian. Um, a lot more flexible. Then the older Guardian that was dropped by Hasbro. Here you see this Guardian over here. Uh, the only thing that bothered me a little bit about this Guardian was that the hands look like almost in that running position. Um, and this was the first Guardian dropped by Hasbro. Now the newer Guardian, of course, that just recently got released. This is the one from the uh, Wendigo Builder figure. Is just really, really epic, man. Like what they did. Uh, they got the actual head sculpt right looks a lot more like the guardian that we know from the comic books and just really really cool um he does come with the windigo uh torso that you're looking at there which is really really cool like what they did with the windigo torso um of course i'm gonna uh explain to you a little bit about windigo and compare them uh once they're done so uh this is the guardian baf and um, he comes with the torso and the tail of Wendigo. And just a really, really cool uh, figure to have. Glad that I could bring him to my collection and put him part of the Alpha Flight that you see here. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably be uh, switching him up. And uh, definitely putting him uh, with the new characters of the Alpha Flight that were dropped by Hasbro later on. So this is Guardian from the Wendigo BAF. All right, guys, so the next figure I want to get into is the Sinister, man. Uh, been waiting for a new Sinister. Uh, the, the Sinister I have, obviously, is from the Toy Biz era. So it's the old school Sinister, which still looks pretty amazing. But glad that they dropped a new Sinister so I could put him up with my new Apocalypse Builder figure uh, that you're looking at there. And uh, this Sinister, just really, really cool, man. Um, they did a lot of changes there in the outfit. Uh, you notice he has kind of like a darker navy blue going on there. And then the face head sculpt just looking a little bit more vicious and more sinister like. Uh, very, very cool. But they did keep him traditional. Uh, there you see him uh, looking like that, that evil smirk that he has. Uh, Sinister, we all know, uh, does experiments on uh, mutants. He did one on Archangel. And, uh, of course, he has just a bunch of uh, kind of scientific ways to change and, and, and the structure of mutants and so forth. So, um, getting into this, um, he does have uh, a lot of similarities to the old school Sinister, but... Uh, the head sculpt just looks more like a vicious sinister there. Like what they did, they kept the diamond in the center of the forehead that you're looking at there. And they kept that red. And then 
Of course, the same thing with the chest. There you see that diamond in the center. And uh, of course, it's a metallic blue color. And then the hands are more of that navy blue that you're looking at there. And just metallic. And the belt is red. And then, of course, going into the boots, uh, the boots go almost halfway into the legs there. You see the boots going all the way down. And it's just that navy blue color. Really, really cool. Like what they did uh, with this Sinister Man. It just looks so different. Uh, starting with the head sculpt. Love what they did with the head sculpt. Um, and, of course, the cape. Uh, of course, we got to get into that cape. Cape looks really cool the way it flares out there around the head sculpt. And then, of course, they kept it that sinister look. They gave it. There you see it. And it has all those patterns there. And it's just a sinister cape there cut up. And just many, many different uh, ways to just interpret this sinister. It looks really cool, man. Um, they did a really good job and I'm happy uh, that they dropped a new Sinister because uh, they haven't dropped one since the Toy Biz era. So this is Sinister who comes with the right arm of Windigo that you see there. And this is from the Windigo Builder figure. Alright guys, and the next figure, man, is the Wolverine. Now everybody knows that I am a Wolverine guy, Deadpool guy, so... Um, getting into this Wolverine real quick. Uh, this is from the Windigo Builder figure. And there you see the Windigo Builder figure head. Um, the head sculpt for Windigo looks amazing. But I'll get into that a little bit later. Let's get let's focus on this Wolverine real quick. This is the Uncanny X-Force Wolverine. And um, they couldn't have done it better, man. I really like the fact that uh, here you don't see Wolverine with the metallic. Uh, it's just that dark gray. Um, that they gave him there on the head sculpt. And then, of course, on the other part of the head sculpt, you see that black, the solid black that goes on the sides there. And then they gave him those red eyes. Kind of like, no, Wolverine is in savage mode. Um, when, when his eyes are red, that's when you know he's at his worst. And, uh, and then, of course, uh, they gave him mainly a black chest sculpt. But he looks pretty solid, man, the way they made him look. Um, and then, of course, on the side of the rib cage there, there's the gray. And then you see the X-Force belt, which is really, really cool. And, uh, you know, there's that two-tone um, that you see there on the legs of that gray and black. And then the boots, pretty epic. I like the way they made the boots. Um, and you've seen Wolverine like this. Uh, especially some of the newer Wolverines done by Hasbro uh, has those like solid military kind of boots, which is really cool. And then um, this Wolverine, just pretty epic, man. Came out, uh, the Windigo BAF uh, wave dropped them. And uh, I just want to get into a couple of things. Um, I like the way they made this Wolverine. But one thing that I like a lot about this Wolverine that I noticed about my other ones that's a big key factor in being a little bit more different is the claws. Um, if you're looking at the claws there, and I want you guys to get a good look, um, they are a little bit thicker, uh, these claws, and they look like they've been a little bit more sharpened. If you can see the edge there on the point, uh, the claws look pretty, pretty cool. And, uh, you know, the claws look good, man. They didn't come... Uh, two packed in where they're like all messed up. Um, the packaging was decent. So uh, it looks really, really good. And that's one thing, uh, you know, the claws, I always look at that. And, uh, you know, there you see a little bit like that middle one right there, a little bit stuck to the other one, but I'll fix that soon. And uh, it just looks really cool. Now, um, I do have a couple of Wolverines and, and I'm, I want to show you guys this. Uh, this is the Uncanny X-Force box set. Okay. What you're looking at here is from San Diego Comic-Con. Now, um, this box set does come with more of the X-Force. There you have Archangel. And then you have another Wolverine. But if you look at his claws, um, they're a little bit thinner. 
and this is the X-Force Wolverine. Uh, the only thing is that in this chest sculpt, the, he has like a little bit of that blue color. And you see kind of like um, that that bluish with that black mixed in. So it's just a little bit different as far as in scale, but um, as far as in color, actually, not in scale. Scale is very similar. And then, of course, there you have uh, Psylocke. Um, and this is a box set um, that I got from San Diego Comic-Con. There you see the San Diego Comic-Con logo. And um, it's really, really cool. But um, like I said, if I'm going to pair them up, uh, since, you know, most of these characters are already going to be paired up with, like, their families. And since Wolverine is from a new, he's a new school uh, X-Force, not the cable X-Force that we know. I'm going to show you guys how to actually put them. So... Here you have Wolverine, and this is the Uncanny X-Force Wolverine as well that you're looking at. But this one is also different because this is not from the San Diego Comic-Con. Um, and there you see like that silver uh, gray, not that dark dull gray. This is a metallic silver that you're looking at. And uh, this is what mainly Wolverine looks like. But if you look at his claws here, same thing. Uh, they're a little bit thinner, not as thick as the new Wolverine that comes in the Windigo Builder figure. So if I'm going to put him back with his family, this is more or less what it would look like. Um, there you have Warpath. Um, I put Gambit in there, but like I said, to each their own. This is just how I wanted him set up. And uh, of course, X-23. Um, there you have Deadpool. And it just looks really, really cool. Um and I, I think that, you know, it's just a good setup. Uh, but like I said, uh, you guys can do it however you want. This is how I would set them up. And uh, yeah, this Wolverine definitely going to be a big part of that. I do have another Warpath um, so and uh, another Deadpool. So it should be really, really cool to make another scene with this Wolverine in actual battle. So very, very cool. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a Wolverine from the Windigo Builder figure. Uh, I'll be getting into these other characters and showing you exactly what you can do with them. So, yep, this is Wolverine from the Uncanny X-Force. And sorry about that, guys. I forgot to add another X-Force member that you see there. And um, very, very cool. Highly anticipating um, Deathlock from the Uncanny X-Force and Deathlock will be coming out soon. Uh, so if you want to know any details about Deathlock who will be coming out, uh, hit me up on the comment section. But yeah, this is, uh, my X-Force setup there. Just wanted to add another X-Force member and, uh, yeah, this is really, really cool, man. All right, guys. So the next figure that I'm going to get into, um, really, really excited about, man, because, I haven't seen a Nightcrawler since the X-Men Classics or the Toy Biz era either. So when they dropped this uh, Nightcrawler, they did such a phenomenal job. Um, first things first, he does come with two interchangeable heads that we're looking at there. And um, those look really epic. Uh, this one right here is probably one of my favorites. Um, and it just looks really, really cool what they did with these uh, head sculpts. And then, of course, an interchangeable hand um, that they dropped. But getting into this Nightcrawler, man, uh, like I said, we haven't seen Nightcrawler since the Toy Biz era. And that's my Toy Biz Nightcrawler. And then, of course, uh, my X-Men Classics Nightcrawler that we're looking at there, which is like a younger version of Nightcrawler. Um so this Nightcrawler right here is uh, epic, man. They dropped them uh, for the Windigo Builder Figure Wave. And uh, I like what they did. I kind of kept the serious look to Nightcrawler there on the head sculpt. And that's what we're looking at. And then, of course, it looks really cool because his hair there is like flaring out. And you kind of see the, get that little bit of uh, blue on the very top of the head sculpt. And then getting further into that Nightcrawler look, just a more serious, but a younger look to Nightcrawler as well. Um, and 
love the fact that he came with the sword. They actually dropped him with the weapon. Um, you know, not like in the uh, Toy Biz one where they just dropped Nightcrawler with no accessories. Um, but like I said, uh, the Toy Biz one still is really, really cool in my opinion. And, um, and then over here, uh, of course, the Chesco uh, traditional Nightcrawler, you know, they kept it red and black. Like the way that, you know, the arms on the shoulders there flare kind of out and look really cool. And then, uh, of course, they gave him uh, the white hands there. Of course, Nightcrawler has those three fingers and same thing with the feet. Um, one thing that I did notice, though, about the feet is that they are more solid. Uh, they look a little bit thicker as well than the ones in the uh, during the Toy Biz era. Um, if you can see here, just a little bit uh, thicker and a little bit more sturdy for him to be able to stand. Not as uh, not as loose this time, uh, you know, of course he's extremely flexible, he's Nightcrawler, but um, just have a very, very cool look to him. One thing that I did have to say that I miss is that I wish Nightcrawler could have came with kind of like that little uh, poof when he makes the disappearance, you know, the, the whole little uh, purple scenario there. Um, that would have been cool, you know, to see him come out of kind of like that portal. Uh, but like I said, to each their own, I think that this is a really, really good look and a well done job to Nightcrawler uh, from the X-Men. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, his family because I couldn't have his family up here but since all these guys are being located to like where they belong and and part of their families like Wolverine to the Uncanny X-Force and Guardian to the Alpha Flight and of course Sinister to Apocalypse uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, where he actually rightfully belongs all right guys so there you see my Nightcrawler and uh, of course that's his place in my collection. Um, you can see that he is where he belongs. Of course, Beast is up there fighting the Sentinel. You got Deadpool. And then, um, of course, you got the Jim Lee, uh, Wolverine, Cyclops, and just a ton of other cool 1990s era um, characters from that cartoon. Of course, who could forget Professor X back there? And this is about Nightcrawler, so focusing in on where he belongs in this collection. And that is my Nightcrawler. So really, really good look and a part of the X-Men family. So this is the newest Nightcrawler. And by the way, he does come with a Windigo piece and it is the left arm to Windigo. So this is the Nightcrawler from the Windigo BAF wave. All right, guys, the next figure I wanna get into is the Cannonball from the X-Force. This Cannonball, really, really cool. Um, I just want to get into the, the actual cannonball figure right now, uh, which is the look, man, that they gave him. They gave him like that old school pilot feel. Uh, there you see, of course, like in the comic books, cannonball with the old school pilot look there. The straps are coming down, the head sculpt, and then, of course, the glasses there on the top and the hair flaring out. Uh, they gave it like a two-tone color there with like uh like a blonde and like pieces of brown there so it just looks really really cool and then the jacket man uh that dark purple color and like what they did there around the neck they gave it kind of like that line of purple there on the white shirt you see it going down almost like a very cool look to the shirt and you see a little bit of that purple going further down there on the white shirt that they gave him and then uh you know cannonball man's been affiliated with uh the new mutants and also x-force and then later on you know he becomes penance and all this stuff but i don't want to get into that that's more of the comic book uh stuff that uh happened in cannonball but um 
you know, he just has that cool look. Um, the head sculpt looks really serious. He looks like he's being shot out right now. And he's ready, man. He's ready to go. He's ready for battle. Like what they did with this cannonball where they gave him the actual cannonball base. Um, and there you see the flaming base. And it's going all the way up. Uh, it goes into like that orange and then that yellow. And it just looks like he's ready to f come out. And Cannonball, you know, has that power um, where he obviously shoots out like a cannonball. And it's just pretty epic the way they made him. They did give him the uh, right leg to Windigo. And there you see the right leg to Windigo, uh, the BAF figure. And this Cannonball is from the Windigo Build-A-Figure Wave and uh, part of the X-Force. Um, which is where I'm probably going to locate him. Uh, there you see, of course, the old school cannonball that came in a double box set. And I have him there with Warlock from the New Mutants. But this cannonball probably is going to go with the Uncanny X-Force, which is Cable, Domino, Warpath. Um, and of course, there you have Shatterstar and... I'm just, I'm really excited that they dropped a new cannonball and they just gave him that battle scene look. Um, and I just like the fact that he's flaring out and he looks like the cannonball from the comics. So really, really nice touch to this cannonball. Love the features they gave him. I'm going to go ahead and turn him around. And there you see kind of like the jacket flaring up. And then the pilot kind of helmet there that you're looking at which is really really a nice touch to this cannonball um definitely part of the x-force and this is gonna go with my x-force collection kind of almost complete there's still one more character in the x-force that i'm waiting for for that old school x-force to seal the deal with the x-force so uh this is cannonball from the x-force and this is from the a uh, Windigo Build-A-Figure Wave by Hasbro. All right, guys, last but not least, uh, highly anticipated X-Force. Uh, this is Boom Boom from the X-Force. And uh, they did a great job uh, with Boom Boom. Kind of like uh, that head sculpt there where she's uh, blowing the bubble gum is kind of like that Jubilee head sculpt from the new X-Men Wave. Um, and it just looks really, really cool. Um, this Boom Boom is new. Uh, they never dropped her. So she's going to make quite an impact because those of you that do have like the X-Force collection, you're going to want her. Uh, definitely a big part of the X-Force, especially the, the old school X-Force, not the uncanny X-Force, but the cable X-Force team. So... Um, she does come with the um, left leg to Windigo, and that's what we have here. That is the left leg to Windigo. And a couple of things about her, man, is the hand. Uh, I noticed very quickly uh, they gave her that boom, boom hand. And this is exactly what we're looking for, man. We're looking for more of those kind of sculpted hands where it looks like you can actually put them in battle scenes. And then, of course, they gave her an interchangeable head sculpt. And then another hand, a solid hand there. Just in case you don't want her in a battle scene, you just want to pose it up. Um, and then, of course, a couple more flames. This one is kind of like the one that you can hold, uh, obviously, because you see her hand here and it's open. So this kind of flame is for her to be able to hold. And just looks really cool, man. The head skull, like the way that strand of hair is coming down there on the glasses, on the shades. Uh, and then, of course, the bubble gum there. They made her look really cool. And then, of course, they kept that traditional look, the whole pink outfit with kind of like that darker red color there that you see on the vest and the gloves. And just really, really cool there. You see the belt. X-Force belt and the boots, of course, a darker red. So uh, Boom Boom is a 
big factor in that X Force, especially if you have an X Force collection and you wanna, you definitely need her to be part of that. Um, but yeah, traditional X Force here, and this is Boom Boom Man, and just a really good look. Let me go ahead and turn her around real quick so you guys can get a better look. Uh, and there, of course, you see the earring, and you see kind of like that crazy hair there, and then the the vest that they gave her. So boom, boom, looking really, really cool. Um, they did an exceptional job with this uh, boom, boom. She just looks really, really cool. And um, this is from the Windigo Build a Figure Wave, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, man. The Windigo Build a Figure Wave uh, dropped amazing characters. Uh, probably one of the harder waves that that are going to be difficult to get later on so i would definitely pick up those figures if you can find them because they will be harder to get later on and probably even more expensive nightcrawler definitely a must and of course cannonball for those of you that are big x-force uh you know uh collectors you're gonna want cannonball and boom boom that came in this wave uh and those are two major players of the x-force so this is boom boom from the windigo builder figure wave and this is done by hasbro all right guys real quick just wanted to show you guys um what that looks like and there you have the X-Force family, you guys are probably wondering like, whoa. Um, but yeah, this is the X-Force family, man. And you have Cannonball and Boom Boom, the newest additions to the X-Force. Uh, of course, uh, that Warpath is part of a double box set that comes with Deadpool. So if you're trying to get him, yeah, he was done in an earlier stage of Hasbro in the double box sets. And then of course, Cable, Domino, and Shatterstar. So... Uh, this is the X-Force. This is more or less what my X-Force collection is going to be looking like. Um, and now that we're close to uh, that that whole thing, I want to show you real quick. I know you guys are probably wondering, what are all these boxes over here? Well, this is the newest episode that I'll be doing and just a little glimpse of that. That, my friend, is the 80 Years Silver Samurai uh, a lot of people been waiting for a Silver Samurai, especially if you're a Wolverine fan. And I don't have to tell you why. Uh, this is definitely one of the opponents of Wolverine. So Silver Samurai, I'll be talking about him in my next episode. So definitely stay tuned for that. I have the whole set, so we'll get into that. But um, yeah, guys, I know that this is more or less what it looks like. And then, of course, you can keep probably the older uh cannonball with your new mutants uh warlock so very very cool um i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the builder figure now that you guys have been waiting for which is windigo all right guys last but not least this is the windigo builder figure and this windigo builder figure is massive um man they did Windigo so different um, from the Windigo builder figure that came in the uh, Fing Fang Foom wave. Uh, there you see the Fing Fang Foom Windigo. And this is still one of my favorite Windigos. I mean, it just looks really, really cool. Uh, and to this day, this Windigo is still a favorite for me. Uh, I do have him with a Wolverine in a battle scene. Uh, and he's also really cool. Just love uh, the color pattern that they gave this Windigo. But getting into the new Windigo here, uh, there you see Wolverine going up against Windigo. Uh, that is a very popular battle uh, scene, what you're looking at there. And this Windigo, they just made him look more monster-like. Uh, he looks like that frost giant monster that you're looking at there and just really crazy in the head scope eyes are red the ears are very pointy and then of course you see the teeth there he's like he's ready man and he's just looking really really monster like and um i like what they did with the head scope where they made kind of like that hair there coming out kind of like that beard look all the way down and then of course they gave the hair almost like 
uh, a little bit of that light blue going into almost like a grayish color on the ends. And then of course in the eyes there, they're red, but you see kind of like that darker blue on the inner part of the eyes. And then of course the teeth, man, looking very sharp and vicious. And then of course the fur that you see back there on the upper arms there, there you see kind of like that fur going all the way down into the shoulders and made him look so massive. Uh, chest wise, of course, this Windigo is a builder figure. So uh, let me remind you, it is a builder figure. So it's gonna be bigger than the Windigo that we're looking at here from the Fing Fang Foom Wave. But love what they did with it, man. Um, the colors, you know, they gave it like that, that white and that baby blue that we're looking at there, same thing. There you see like the fur coming all the way down and you see like that baby blue and white and just looks really epic, man. Um, there you see my Wolverine uh, in a battle scene. And I put this Wolverine because this is the unmasked Wolverine. Very, very cool. There you see kind of like the mask hanging in the back. And uh, I just wanted to give it that kind of like battle scene look. And uh, yeah, man, I just like what they did with Windigo. They have the, there you see the claws on the hands very sharp like and then of course in the abdomen they gave it kind of like that massive look there you see kind of like you know that look where it goes from the white into that baby blue again and then of course more fur and on the bottom part of the legs you kind of see that as well where it goes into that white and then the baby blue goes all the way down into the foot um so this is a massive Windigo, uh, definitely a very cool builder figure. And Hasbro is really doing a great job with the whole Windigo uh, builder figure because I mean, I noticed that their builder figures are getting bigger in scale. And that's exactly what they're looking for, especially for someone like Windigo, uh, who is a, a frost monster. And you know, he is like the Bigfoot of you know that that era so there you have windigo going up against wolverine and of course you have a a marvel select hulk i just wanted to compare the marvel select hulk to the windigo and of course the marvel select hulk are usually a little bit bigger but man they got this windigo right um especially hasbro because if you're looking at him in the battle scene he's just so much bigger than wolverine and uh just a really nice touch to this windigo so this is windigo uh from the uh newest wave and uh it's just a really really cool build a figure and of course the old school windigo if you guys are looking for him that's part of the Fing Fang Foom wave. So, yep, this is Windigo from the Build a Figure wave. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video on the newest wave, which is the Windigo Build a Figure wave, and uh, just comes with a ton of cool characters, starting with Guardian, Sinister, uh, Wolverine back there from the Uncanny X Force. Nightcrawler, and then of course you have Cannonball and Boom Boom from the X Force. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, hit that bell for the next notification, and definitely hit us with a like. I'm G Infinite. Peace out, YouTube.